Hi, my name is Joel Cowley, and this is my sketch reflection. What I'm sketching is a memory or a moment that took place in the lab the past week or so. When I sketch this out, my goal is not to just relive that moment, but to analyze it and reflect in the detail. And by involving more than just my memory or notes I might have taken incidentally during that time, I'm able to better process and comprehend the lessons that we were working on and then what we learned. What I'm sketching here are some fourth grade students who have completed large parts of their keyboarding curriculum. Since they were ahead of their classmates, we decided to do some small group work involving computer science. In this case, we were learning about computer hardware. These students had already completed much of their coursework for the code.org and were now ready to learn about how computers actually work. What better way to learn about how computers actually work by getting some hands-on experience and actually taking them apart a computer? We started with viewing a brain pop video on computers, which is a fantastic resource to help your students develop the background knowledge they would need to understand some of the main components of computers. After we completed our brain pop activities and discussed the vocabulary included, it was time for the students to start deconstructing a computer and putting some physical objects to match the vocabulary they had learned. One of the first observations that I thought was fascinating is that many students didn't recognize the large CPU that was donated to the lab as a computer. For many of them, computers were things you could hold in your hands, such as cell phones or tablets, or even the occasional laptop. Something as large as this CPU that had been donated felt foreign to them as a computer. Some of the first components we pulled out are this hard drive, also this graphics card and RAM, and eventually we got to the point where the students were working on taking out the motherboard, which proved to be a little bit of a challenge, but once it popped out, we were able to look at the processor and the RAM and discuss how all of these components work together to make our computers function. I'm excited to have students in the future take apart cell phones and tablets so that we can see the connection between this first CPU and these handheld devices.